Uh, what up YouTube, it's Super Mazaku here today to give you guys a Berito, I don't know what the hell episode, it's probably 27, 28, first off, um, this episode felt uh, very long, um, like, like extremely, extremely long, which is a good thing, because I feel like when I watch Berito episodes, the time goes by really, really, really fast, and before I know what the episode is over, um, you learn a lot, um, first off, I'm gonna I'm, I'm admit, first off, look at the tattoo. It's in the peeling process and shit, so you, that's why that shit, they'll be going, that's like my skin. First off, now I'm actually convinced that the, uh, the, um, what's his fucking last name? Hoshigaki Ninja Nigga, whatever that is, the leader of the bad crew or the, the new era blood miss. I am 100%, you know, convinced that he's either the little brother, the son, or the nephew of, um, Kisame. Um, hands down. This nigga even got his little... I didn't know that, like, that the whole eye thing was, like, maybe, uh, like a semi-transformation. So maybe he, in the future, he can have a shark mode unless Burrito with the Mizukake kill his nigga now. So, but I, initially, I thought that this field trip was gonna be, like, a little, you know, not a filler, but a little arc, like, maybe five, six episodes in. But at the scene, you know, the new intro, first off, the intro is a banger. Banger. Love it. At the scene, um, what's his damn name? Uh, Kagura, who turns out to be the grandson of, uh, Yagura. Um, I guess everybody kind of predicted that. It's, I said, it's, everybody said it has to be some kind of relation. He just looked too much like him. It's different with the Hoshigaki little getting, uh, uh, leader of the crew, who really doesn't look like Kisame that much. But until, you know, he went into that whole shark mode shit. But, intro was pretty good. Uh, the music for the, uh, intro, it's not bad at all. Uh, I guess that's they're two for two with the intro, so hopefully they don't you know run across no bullshit. <clears throat> and turns out that this nigga, the whole blood misses in the past bullshit. That, that the blood misses, I guess it ended with him. I think he was the last dude to graduate the academy, having when he had to, like to kill everybody. Because it's like, listen, he shouldn't be walking around. You, you murdered your classmates. You murdered your best friend. And this nigga wasn't no Tiha. This nigga be like the Itachi of this damn village. So a couple of years back, not ten years, probably not even five years, this nigga murked everybody. And yet he's praised by the uh, Mizukage and shit. Listen, I like Kagura's character, but from a Kage standpoint, um... Chojuro, you, you, you almost just as bad as Naruto is right now. You're not taking action of shit that needs to be taking action for. That's bullshit. This nigga's turn the fucking music up. It's, why, it's my speaker too, but yeah, but. Basically, this nigga murked everybody and he's walking around free. I cannot let my personal feelings toward the character that I like. Exempt the fact that that is complete bullshit. Bullshit. No fucking way that should be allowed. Fuck no. For, I don't know what the fuck Chojiro or what, what, what's the bitch name? Need to roommate? Nah. That's a fucking no no. Then these fucking boys, bitch ass, crew, I'm, the new Blood Miss era niggas, they kidnap Dinky. You know, they all go to the rescue room. The nigga with their fucking. Yellow Afro is talking all this shit about you no know, Kagura. Me, after you know, after hearing the fact that he killed everybody in this class, Kagura, I'm thinking, well, this yellow hair motherfucker, you just better be lucky that you either dropped out and went to this other nigga because had you not, you would have been killed with these niggas. You feel me? So just be grateful for your life and uh, like you trying to fight this, you know what this nigga do. So that doesn't even make any damn sense. It's like, no, you you should know how, no matter how many niggas you got, unless you got your leader with you, who was possibly Kisame's kid, and possibly also a next heir to the throne of a you know of a sword of the seven swordsmen. The mama crusty ass lips. So I would just woke up and watch the episode. You should be bitching. You shouldn't be this confident going up against this nigga. No matter how many numbers you got, because you seen. Especially how Kagura handles some numbers. He cuts them down, literally. Instead, he just cuts this nigga pants down on some gay shit. A bird to everybody. First, a bird to getting choked by this big ass nigga was stupid as shit. But at least we got to see bird to use Winstyle again. 
And, you know, as you notice, like, Berto's demeanor throughout this entire series, and it really showed in this episode, um, of course she has, you know, a sense of caring, you know, but there's no sense of urgency or danger within Berto. I think he himself even knows that he has gifts. He just tries shit and they work out. You know, you know I just tried this shit with Miss. Oh, I know how to use wind style, cool. In the manga, you know, I know how to use water style, uh, lightning. It's just, it's second nature to him. And no, that's not a pun of the chakra natures. But I feel like Berito at this point realizes that you know, no matter how much he despises Naruto, you no, know, thanks to his genes and his mom's genes, he's blessed with so many, so many abilities that he's never in any real danger. Because he's, to this point, really has never been in any real, real danger. Because he pours a rabbit out the head all the time. He didn't even need to hear. He didn't need to hear. He could have kill, easily killed the big dude who's just choking him. All he's doing is choking him. But no, he said, no. When style, just get the fuck off me. So, after that, at the car girl, you know, you know, fucks everybody up. Then everybody get fucked up. They went back to their little leader. Um, we get a scene of uh, Kagura, you know, playing Uno with these niggas. And you know, Berto gives a Berto type speech. And this speech is like, listen, you know, I understand, you know, you don't want to live in your family shadow and you know, be defined by them. Now, Berto, first off, you got to shut the fuck up because, as I said, at this point, you know, I, look, first off, that's your dad, Naruto's dad. And because of his ability, abilities and shit, and your mom, you got what you got now. You, you, you didn't have their blood, their genes, you wouldn't be doing this shit. But, whatever. You can let that slide because you are a little a little bit different than your dad. That shit with uh the uh class president, no, you, you acted just like him, like a bitch. But Kagura, you can't say that you can't say the same to him. Cause this nigga actually was killing he killed all his classmates. He did exactly what uh his granddad did and what uh ninjas was required to do during the Blood Miss era. Just a couple of years ago. He's No. You don't get from that exception. This nigga's a murderer. I like him too, but no, no, this nigga's a murderer. You can't give him that sense of saying you're not like him. Actually, you are. You, you already killed these niggas. You feel me? Once you killed them niggas, it was over. You are just like him. Fuck. But I get what he was trying to do. You know, Kyker, you know, happy playing Uno and shit. And the talk lasts a minute and shit like that. You know, Shikamaru points out, like, that's why you was bitching when uh, you was um sword fighting birds. So, with the pause. Pause. Pause on that. And... Good thing it was wooden swords, cause you know, had he had a real sword, mm, yeah, we know he would have got fucked up. So after that, you know, Sabre comes in, reminds Berto that he's a captain, yada yada. They gotta do some body count bullshit. So now we get a scene with um Kagura and Chojuro. Uh, he wants to, you know, apply to see if he can get the. <coughs> I forgot what the sword's name is. It's the corny sword out of all of them. Uh, that one with that fucking shark shit. And I also have a question. You know, more of an observation. You know, I understand that he doesn't want... He did, probably he didn't want to use the sword because he didn't want to kill anybody. For practice. But I'm like, if you just practice with Chojuro... I mean, you can't kill him even if you try. Like, if you try to... He'll fuck you up. So it's like, maybe he probably should have just, you know, been his student. Because you can't kill him. Even if you try to. But now he's going to try to get, you know, that... uh the seven, you know, he was he gonna, he gonna try to get that damn sword. He's gonna get the sword. And Kisame's descendant, that's what we're gonna call him now. He like, oh for real? He went to go see say less. So this now I'm like, okay, this dude obviously has a sword of some sort. You can't have the Samahada because my nigga Killer B still got that shit. And if he does have that shit, I'm gonna be so pissed off. And that's Killer B is handing it back over. Like, here we go, here. No. I mean, I, I guess technically it is Miss Property. It's, it's their property. So I guess after the whole Peace Tree shit, you know, he had to, like, listen, here, this this is your shit. That ain't my shit. So maybe that could have happened. And then this nigga, if he, is this nigga got the Sami Hada, dog, that shit is just fucking cheap. I hope he doesn't have that. But, um,. It looks like we're going to get a battle between two uh, Seven Ninja Swordsmen of the Mist uh, new, uh, the new generation uh, very soon. I think there's going to be a mini arc, but no, they're going to they're gonna go for Friday with this. It's going to be a nice, lengthy one, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to everything that's about to happen. 
Uh, I want to see uh, the battle between uh, Tajiro and uh, Kagura too, you know, as far as the testing for the sword goes. I'm excited for the next episode. I didn't even watch the preview, but I'm excited for the next episode. Um, Boruto, the time went now, you guys are fucking solid already. So I'm going to say there. Episode rating, I'm, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Would have gave it an 8 had the uh, action scene been, you know, better. But I understand why it couldn't be better because these guys were no match for Burrito and his crew and uh, Kagura, who was the grandson of Yagura. First off, these niggas still don't know that the only reason why Yagura was a was a bitch ass nigga as a uh, Mizukage is because Obito was controlling this nigga with a Sharon guy the whole time. Which is weird because he was known to be perfect in Jiriki. So now that's just a, another plot hole. But whatever. Yeah, Super Mazaku, like, I'm subscribed. This music is it's annoying me, so I'm out. Super.